Hi, I'm Skyler. If you're using iTunes and it goes through some sort of weird error and won't close if you go up here to iTunes and then quit iTunes, um, or if you've got the spinning wheel of death, the beach ball as we call it, there's an easy way to fix that. And it's to hold down Option and Command on your keyboard and then press Escape. Force Quit Applications appears. So, highlight the application, the offending application, and click Force Quit. It warns you that you'll lose any unsaved changes, but luckily there aren't a whole lot of changes to save in iTunes, so we'll Force Quit. Bam, gone. Next time you boot it up, it should be fine. There's another thing that might be handy at some point, and that's called Activity Monitor. So, click on Spotlight and type in Activity. Press Return. Here's Activity Monitor. This tells you all about what's going on in your computer. So you see all of the processes that are currently running, like the other applications that we saw when I looked at Force Quit applications. So Tags, Safari, QuickTime Player, etc. We see them all here. Applications are represented by icons. We can see how much of our processing capability there currently using. So I'm making a screencast with QuickTime Player right now. We see that it's using a lot of my CPU. Can also go down here to System Memory, check out what's going on, Disk Activity. There's a neat little thing if you hold down Command and press 1, or rather 2, it shows us all of our CPU cores. So in this computer I've got 8 cores. And this graph actually shows me exactly how each one of those cores is being used at this exact moment. Pretty neat. And what's amazing about it is that I can be recording everything that's going on on the screen and still have plenty of power left over for other processes. So, if iTunes freezes, force quit it. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.